When the mind is hungry, it's like a person who's really hungry. As I say in Thailand, your, your face gets dark. In other words, you, everything gets unclear because you're looking only for food, and you tend to see food in places where it doesn't exist. And as a result, you get sick, taking in things that you sh shouldn't take in. This is why an important part of gaining insight into the mind is getting the mind to be quiet, to be still, to be concentrated with one object. Because concentration, as it develops, develops a sense of ease, a sense of pleasure, a sense of well-being, a sense of fullness and refreshment. That refreshment is food for the mind. All too often we go looking for food in all the wrong places, and we're constantly hungry. It's like snack foods that the more you eat, the hungrier you get. But with meditation, when you feed the mind well, okay, it really is full. And when it's full, then it's like a person who's eaten is full, or her, eaten her full. You can see what's what, what's worth taking, what's not worth taking, what really is food, what's f poisonous food, what's not food at all. You can see these things clearly because you come from a sense of well-being. This is why we shouldn't look down on concentration, thinking it's only a step somewhat, somewhat further, and try to get past the step. You have to f use it as a foundation. Stay right here, because it's staying right here with a sense of well-being that you'll see things for what they are. You want to gain insight into the mind, you make the mind quiet. You make the mind still. Like a person who wants to see something, you have to stand very, very still so you can see all the details. So try to stay with a sense of quietness in the mind. As you chant, as you get up, as you have your meal, as you do your duties and throughout the monastery. Not only when you sit and meditate all the time, you can be with the breath. Feed the mind with the breath. And when it's well fed, then it's going to see things as they truly are. That way you can stop gobbling down things that are bad for you and eat only things that are good. That's a lot of insight right there.